your hands typically shake anywhere from one to five times a second. And that little bit of shake not only makes your video look bad, but it can also cause motion blur in your photographs. It's not a very big deal with a wide angle lens like this, a 16 mil. But as your lens gets longer, that shake is amplified. Image stabilization, or IS as Canon calls it, can be a savior for this problem. It's designed to reduce shake. What happens when you turn it on is little gyros inside the barrel will actually move the entire lens group in the same direction that you bump or shake the lens. This all happens in about two thousandths of a second. To demonstrate this, I'm showing you some handheld footage at 70 mil without the stabilizer on. You can see the shake is pretty pronounced and jagged. Once I hit the stabilizer switch, the gyros take over and the footage smooths out. In this second example, I'm using a 300 mil telephoto lens and you can really see the dramatic increase in camera shape. This is largely in part because the distance of the lens is about four times longer than the previous one. But once I activate the stabilizer, you can see that the camera actually appears to be floating. Now if you wanted a rock solid camera, you would mount it on a steady tripod, right? Which brings us to the sole reason of why I wanted to do this video. Should you turn the IS on or should you have the IS off when your camera is on a tripod? Now that's an excellent, mysterious and very difficult question to answer. There's a little phenomenon known as shake return. And what shake return is, is when the IS inside the lens actually tries to fix itself from shaking and that creates a loop. If you think about holding a microphone in front of a speaker, when the audio comes through the speaker and back through the mic, you get that squealing feedback noise. Essentially the audio is creating that loop and that's exactly what's happening inside the lens. The IS detects itself as shaking and tries to fix it and then that causes shake return loop that just never ends. Now Canon addressed this by inventing a built-in function called tripod detection. The problem is that not all lenses have it, and the other problem is that it doesn't always work in every situation. You have to check the manual for your specific lens specs, and even that won't guarantee the absence of shake return. Here's my advice. Take a few minutes and go through your kit and test each lens on a tripod. Throw your camera into video mode, turn the stabilizer on, turn the stabilizer off, bump the tripod a little, and then just watch the footage back and see how each lens reacts to being on a tripod. I know you're thinking about aperture and shutter speed and white balance and everything else when you're out there shooting, but having just a little bit of awareness of what your stabilizer is doing while it's on a tripod is not going to hurt your photography. For the Star.com, I'm Randy Risling.